What's going on guys, Vic VP back with another Game Case Arcades video. On this one today, we're gonna to be talking about my QR code project. Basically, global high scores. Anybody in the world could scan the QR code, post their high score, take a picture of their DMD, and claim bragging rights for over 300 VPX tables. And I'll show you how to implement it into Popper. All right, guys, you know the drill. If you're not following me on all the social medias, you didn't click that link tree, what are you waiting for? It's been a great start to the new year. Um, I'm gonna be talking about this real quick because just recently, I did a very big kind of upgrade for my VPIN. I actually had to get a new computer because I made the mistake of only going 500 gigs on my SSD and I was running out of space. I only had about five gigs of open space on my C drive. So that led to me Upgrading the PC entirely. I'm running now a 3070 Ti, 32 gigs of RAM, i5 with one terabyte M.2. Also upgraded the screen itself. I'm gonna be doing a whole nother video separately on this, but I am now rocking a 50 inch, 4K, 120 hertz, LG QNED display. All I gotta say is my, my, my Samsung I had before, that's 60 hertz cheap. 120 hertz blows it out the water, but I'm gonna be doing a whole separate video on the whole upgrade and really the entire upgrade of my whole entire battle station because I got one more screen upgrade and then I'll talk about the other upgrade. There's a lot of upgrades, I've, I've been busy. But enough of that. On this video, we're gonna be talking about the QR code project. I'm really excited to show it off. So I'm gonna first start off by explaining what exactly this QR code thing does. Why would I be interested in it? So we're gonna go with the basics on what exactly what this QR code thing is. I'll go through a little bit of a controversy that I ran into as far as what program or software or server or app I was going to be using. And at the end of this video, I'll give you a nice little short tutorial on how to implement it into your popper. You don't need to implement it into your popper to join in on the fun. All you need is your phone, no matter what. If you don't implement it into your popper, you do need another screen or a computer screen but I'll go into that later on. Let's discuss what exactly this QR code thing is. So the purpose of the QR code project is very simple. I wanted to offer something where everybody in the V-Pinball community, whether you have a full blown decked out dedicated V-Pin machine, or if you're using desktop mode with your keyboard and mouse, it's basically a simple way of you uploading a high score and claiming bragging rights for that specific pin. That's, that's basics. You basically scan the QR code, you actually type in your score, you take a picture of your DMD, and boom, post it globally. I'm trying to use the word globally a lot because I do want this to kind of take off. Not many people have this. I have yet to see a global QR code. There is probably one or two guys in Aussie that you know is doing this, um, but they're probably doing it for their customers only. I have yet to see anything global. So. If this does take off, if it does go across the world, even if there's one, two, three, a million people that are actually utilizing the QR codes, I'm happy. I basically did this again on my own. It was a personal project. Nobody asked me to do it. I kind of took an idea that I did see somewhere else really implemented in the real pinball world, and I wanted to bring it to the V-Pin world. So if you still are a little bit confused on the QR code project, I'm gonna right now launch a table. And keep in mind, yes, I am using Pinup Popper. I do have this incorporated in my Pinup Popper setup. You do not have to incorporate it into Popper to enjoy the fun. You could basically go to my website, look at the QR code, scan it, and still participate, basically. I just have the extra feature of having it in Pinup Popper. As you can see, I'm playing some Super Mario Bros, and I don't know if you can see it there, but right there, that's my QR code. Basically, if I play in a good game, I'm playing my game, you could do this after, you could do it before, but you're probably better off doing it after you played a game. And I had a great high score. I think I had 404 million on Super Mario Bros. I basically take my phone, I take the camera out, I hover over the QR code, it gives me an option for a web address, and boom, I am able to upload my name, my score, and I must upload a photo of the DMD. I have that set specifically. You have to add a photo. And there you go, you're set. 
you press post your score and it goes global. And now just for reference, there it is right there, the QR code. That is a 100 by 100 pixel square. I have it right where the plunger is. It's out of the way. I have the camera zoomed out. You could see my entire kind of setup here just to show you that it is not a very big square. That right there is a 100 by 100. Again, I could take my camera phone. I just hover over, making sure nothing's in the way of the screen and then I'm able to upload my score and I have to take a picture. So real quick, I'm gonna do a table that I have played in the past. I have not done the QR code scan just yet. So it's not something you have to do live. Obviously, you know, with VPINs, your score is saved. So even right now, if you have a great high score, you don't have to actually play the machine right now to do it. Again, your high score gets saved on the DMD. So right now I have yet to upload a score for Cactus Canyon. As I'm waiting for the score to come up, I'm going to scan my QR code. And again, every table has a unique QR code. That's Cactus Canyon right there. I'm going to get ready. I already have my Vic underscore VP preset. And you can see it already typed some scores in. But I'm going to get ready. I believe I'm like third place on this one here. Uh, 4147400. I can't post my score yet because I have to attach a photo. Really, I probably should have taken the picture first because the picture stays on the bottom of the screen and then I could always scroll up and down and import the score like that. Now, some people might be looking at this going like, Vic, you know, you have to import your score. You have the chance of mistyping. Yes, don't suck the fun out of it. Um, for me personally, I do get a little bit of notification whenever somebody posts a score and that's also why that there is a photo. So I'm right now waiting for the scores to come back up. I'm gonna take a picture of the score so I'm getting ready, I have my back glass too, boom. I take the picture right there, I'll press OK, and I'm gonna verify 41474400, and boom, post my score, and my score is posted. If I go to the leaderboard, it's gonna show you all 300 tables. You can even see here, we got somebody playing some ACDC mic, claiming bragging rights for 70 million on ACDC. Again, right now I just finished the QR code project, so not many people are uploading their scores. I do hope people take advantage and upload it, but that's the gist of it. Now you might be saying to yourself, hey big man, I don't want to put it in poppers. There's something like quick and easy to do. Yes, if you go to my website on the right or on the phone, you're going to see on the top left, there is an option for high score. You're going to see my entire 300 tables here, but you will find the album here which says VPIN QR code. It's going to open up a page. I have it basically listed in alphabetical order. Uh, as you can see here, it says here, view photos. Click to view photos. Codes are under the title. That is the big thing. Uh, so again, you don't need to import this into Popper. You might be playing some ACDC Lucy. So again, the code is underneath the title. I'm going to basically take that and boom, I am able to upload ACDC. It's that easy. Also on my website, there is going to be, it's not here right now, I'm gonna do it at the end of the video, there will be an option to download all of my QR codes. Basically, once you press that download, you're gonna get all my QR codes, every single one is labeled, you just have to go in and put it into Popper. So again, I have 300 tables. Me personally, my VPX, I focus mostly on uh, games that are not EM. I have quite a few EM, but not all of them. It's mostly the tables that have like actual DMDs and objective based gameplay and such. So, such as like Cubo Wizard, uh, The Addams Family, The Simpsons, WWF, World Cup Soccer. So, again, you don't need to import it from Popper. You could basically go to a computer, scan the QR code, and then upload. Unfortunately, there is no option to go from the phone and upload the QR code. You have to scan it. So there you guys have it, that is the gist of the QR code. It's just a simple way and also fun and it's really interactive. That's, that's the end game here. It's just everybody as a community could join in, play their pins, play it on their computer, play virtual pinball and upload their scores. That's, that's the big thing that I wanted out of this project. Now yes, I did this project on my own. I'm not getting paid for this. I just did this on a whim. I wanted to do this because uh, now, for example, you know, the VPW guys, everybody working in the virtual pinball world, whether it's future pinball like Terry Red or anybody working on VPX table, Big Oz, JP, people are posting these, these updated tables. We just got Iron Maiden that came out. Like it's, 
you know, people going nuts for it. I'm like, okay, cool. You know, I'll play Iron Maiden, but then that's it. You know, I just wanted it where everybody could take it the next step up and post their high scores and, you know, claim bragging rights. That's really it. Now, in all honesty, I'm not the only person doing this. I just, I haven't seen anybody really do this. I haven't really seen a global high score option. That's probably the best way to say it. I haven't seen anybody do it. There are a couple of builders, specifically probably one guy in Alzi that nobody likes. Um, I feel like he did it, but I think he's doing it for his, com his customers. His QR codes aren't available. I now have it where anybody in the world could just join in. Whether you like me or not, you can at least still join in and enjoy the community and play. Yes, it is going to my personal like account or my personal game room leaderboard, but as of right now, it's been posted. I posted it maybe, you know, three or four days ago. And just to see like three or four random names pop up on the leaderboards, like you just saw a guy named Mike, like that to me is cool. Like I'm happy, I'm, I'm awesome. Like I saw Mike score and I'm like, okay, I gotta load up some ACDC and beat his high score because you ain't gonna own eight. Like that was the end game to it. And I'm just happy that I got it. I got it working and I got it completed. Now let me give you quickly a backstory behind this because this, this kind of took off. It was originally supposed to be using a different app, um, but there was a little bit of a controversy. So let me give you the backstory real quick, okay? Um, again, I'm doing this on my own. Nobody asked me to do this. I just sat down. I knew I had to update my VPN. I was like, you know what? Let's just talk about QR codes. And I, I had a purpose for me personally to do this project, right? If you are a subscriber, you would have seen this YouTube short that right now is no longer there. Um, this YouTube short, it took off. I didn't think, I mean, it was, I treated it like Instagram. I took a quick video and posted it, but I said, you know what, let me post it to YouTube. I don't post that many YouTube shorts, but on this one, I posted it. Um, and no joke, I'm talking in two hours, it had 2,000 views. I don't ever, get numbers like that. I, I must have used certain words and it did turn out that I did use certain words to get this to jump off. Basically, it gained traction. Uh, the next morning, I get a message from a couple of VP creators um, globally. I mean, now they're friends, I know them. They're in a couple of the groups that I'm in. Um, I've known of them and now we've become friends because of this whole little controversy. They basically put me in Check. I'm talking about some guys from the VPW, um, you know, publishers, builders, creators, and all that. So I get a message from these guys like, Vic, what you're doing is a big no. You have to stop what you're doing. And I was like, oh, I didn't, I didn't realize at the time. And even, you know, some people posted on the shorts like, hey, Vic, what you're doing is not right. Stop what you're doing. And I just, I just didn't understand it. But now I understand it. Once somebody sat down and messaged me, I now understand it. I, right now, my QR codes are utilizing iScored. There is a website called iScored. It's really cool. It's a one-time payment. I paid it for a lifetime subscription. So yes, I paid for iScored. It is my game room, so all my QR codes go to my game room. But before I was doing iScored, I was using Scorebit. If you are a real pinner, a person that plays real pinball machines, you are aware of Scorbit. Me personally, I don't own a real pinball machine, but my local arcade, Round 1, they do have a lot of stern pins, the newer ones like TMNT and Mandalorian. I kind of saw that and this is where kind of the QR code project started, where if you now see stern now, they have QR codes and basically you could play the pin, you scan the QR code, you could upload it to your profile, it is utilizing Scorbit. And originally, I was utilizing Scorebit's interface software app to create my QR codes. And that was the controversy. I had a lot of people saying, Vic, you can't use Scorebit. You are gonna piss off the real pinners, the real pinball community. They already don't like V-pinners. You're gonna piss them off badly. And I, I honestly didn't understand what was wrong in the situation. And you know, I would go into detail, but I don't want you to go into Scorbit because, again, I got flamed. Like, I'm, I, I was like, oh, I literally stopped. I already made 300 QR codes in Scorbit, and I never published it. I, I had to stop. I, I was like, I'm not, if I'm going to piss off the community, I, this was not what I wanted to do. So I, I deleted it. I had a, a nice guy named Chris, Chris P from the VPW group. 
he said, Vic, your idea, you should be using I scored. And at the time, I didn't realize this whole controversy with Scorbit. Now I do. I am utilizing I scored. Now, you might be saying, like, Vic, controversy. There's no controversy. What do you talk about? To me, like, for you to message me and, like, like, I'm telling you, I, I pissed off the, the, the community. I don't know how, but I pissed off somebody. Either I pissed off Scorbit, I pissed off somebody, and I was getting flamed at the stake. And I said, you know what? It's, this, this wasn't my intention. It wasn't, I wasn't doing it. Now you might be saying, Vic, I don't understand. The guys are doing Scorbit. Um, Iron Maiden, Guardians of the Galaxy, Scorbit is being integrated, and the guys are developing it and all that. I understand that, but it's, like they're doing that. Let, let, that's what I, this is what I learned. So people messaged me, you know, I, I even said like, my buddy Chris, I said, dude, I don't even understand what, what I did wrong. You know, I see people utilizing score, but what did I do wrong? I basically got my lesson. I'm going to basically summarize it for you. Let Scorbit and like the V pin people do their thing. Don't, don't go to Scorbit and make the QR codes. The only thing I kept firing back, my only kind of fire back, um, again, people are saying, hey, Vic, you're creating tables that, you know, it's, it, you know, let's say, for example, the Simpsons pinball party. Um, you know, the QR code is really for the real Simpsons pinball party. My only answer to that is I'm not able to create tables. Scorebit had the option of Simpsons pinball party, and then it said Sim Simpsons pinball party V pin. And that's how I did my personal QRs was utilizing that V pin table. So I wasn't really interfering with the real pinners, but I still got flamed. So that was my only argument back. I said, I don't, I'm not creating tables. It's not like I could go into Scorbit and, you know, uh, 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 I don't know, SpongeBob. They made a SpongeBob uh, VPI. I, I'm not able to make SpongeBob. Like that was my, my argument. I said, Scorbit already has VPIN. He goes, they go, Vic, yes, like, yes, but what you're doing, just no. I said, all right, screw it. Like, I, I didn't want to be on the bad side, so I had to go to the I scored side. So now basically, yes, if you do want to do this on your own, you utilize I scored. I scored, I think it was, I paid 20 bucks for the lifetime subscription. I now have a game room called VicVP, and I'm honestly going to even branch out more. Uh, Chris also messaged me, he goes, hey Vic, man, I scored, you basically could create the table, you could even use arcade, like we could do arcade high scores. I said, this is awesome, like this is cool. Scorbit was cool, but he convinced me and he basically said, what I'm trying to do, you need to do I scored. Um, you know, going back to the real pins, if you do have the chance of playing a real pinball machine, the more modern ones, even now like um, Scorbit is making these devices where, you know, they could take an EM table and add the functionality of Scorbit. It was just cool, but from what I learned, Scorbit is for the real pinners and whenever they incorporate it into that specific table for VPX, let it do its thing. If you are looking for the QR codes, go the I scored route. Now, I made a post on Facebook because originally the Facebook and the YouTube thing said, hey, Scorbit, QR codes, VPX. Like, I think that was it. That 2000 views was because I used the word Scorbit. And I think that's where everything is. Even, you know, the guys that messaged me, they're like, Vic, we're in like Discord and people saw your video and are going like ape shit. I was like, ape shit like in a bad way? They're like, yeah, like uh, people are pissed, but then also people are like, oh, why aren't we doing this? Let's do this, let's add this, go. Like, what do we, that's how I took it. I was like, you know, Scorbit makes QR codes. I was able to take the actual QR code from Scorbit. It's frowned upon. Scorbit is done. We're not gonna talk about Scorbit anymore. Um, but again, I, I basically had the little idea that when I went to my arcade, you know, the stern machines, they have the QR codes. I believe actually like it's re reverse. I think you, you, it's, you get a, you get your own personal profiles QR code and then the machine has a camera and then it scans it like, I don't know, but that's where the whole idea came out of, I guess, with the QR codes. But whatever you do, Scorbit, it's a great app for real pinners and whenever they incorporate it on that specific table. If you want to do what I'm doing, use iScored. So now going back to that post and everything, I deleted the score bit video. You won't find that video anymore because it's going to get flamed to the state. And I deleted it from all the Facebook posts. I only posted it in the V Pinners group and our Wizards group. Um, and I, I deleted it. I was like, you know what, be gone. Whoever didn't see it, they'll never see it again. I then made a video saying iScored. iScored QR codes, global high score, join in on the fun. Go, and then even on a couple of the groups, 
uh, like this week because Super Mario Bros. Color DMD um, and Iron Maiden. I said let's play those two. Here's the, the, the QR code, upload your score and play it. So now I'm kind of doing it where a bi-weekly game challenge, you know, let's play the pins and, and all that. Let's play. Let's game on. So I then made a post saying, you know, I scored QR code and I did say something where it's better than the score bit. I did say that on purpose so nobody looks at score bit again as far as the V-pin world. Um, you know, one guy was like, why did you say it's better? It's not better. And I was like, it is. Just don't do what I did and... Don't use Scorbit. You don't. <laughs> that's that's the end game to it. And again, yes, it is my game room, but I want people to take the QR codes. As you can see, you could go on my website. You could scan the QR code. If you're in the virt right now, the main one is the Virtual Pinball Builders Facebook group. That's the only one I post to. I don't post to the Pin Up Popper one. It's the Virtual Pinball Builders group. It's a Facebook group. Cool guys. I post there as far as like the bi-weekly challenges. So if you are watching this, join us on Facebook. I will do bi-weekly challenges. And again, if you still wanna just join in and play your own machines, you can go to my website, scan the QR code. You just have to scan it. That's the only thing. You can't import a QR code from your phone. You gotta scan it. So you will need another screen. Scan it and upgrade and uh, an update, update. Go, go. Now it's also cool, the iScore route is anybody could upload their score, anybody. So if you're the type that makes your own iScored account and you know you put a TV, they even have like a nice leaderboard way. You could, people have dedicated TVs for this thing. It's pretty cool. The best part is that anybody, anybody could upload their score. You don't have to create an account. All you gotta do is scan it. And I do suggest that you do it on the phone. Use your phone. Because every time you scan and you click on your name, it's, it looks at like, hey, you already imported your name in previous tables. So, and I also have it set where it could be more than three characters. So I'm Vic underscore VP. It's cool. It's just, it's so much cool on the phone. But the biggest thing why I said that I scored is better than Scorbit, anybody could utilize it in seconds. You don't need to create an account. You just scan and go. So in my objection right now, again, with me being flamed at the stake, I scored is better than Scorbit for what I am trying to do. So real quick chiming in, I just did the whole video, but I wanted to make a couple more points real quick. Um, if you're doing the iScored route, um, iScored does make a QR code for you inside the game room. I'll be brutally honest, that QR code sucks, especially on a VPN setup like this here. Basically, as far as the work-wise on my end, I had to actually, you know, create the table in iScored. I had to take the link, go to a separate QR code maker download the qr code and then upload it to my template on photoshop and it was just it was basically a process now some people are going to watch this and go vic man it's a cool idea but you know vpin people could cheat you know you could modify your flipper and uh you could take control of the ball with them don't suck the fun out of it uh in all honesty even real pinball machines you could cheat you know people that own the machines they'll take the glass off and just start hitting it with their fingers so either way you could cheat don't I, I advise you don't cheat, um, but you know, it is what it is, but don't ruin the fun. Um, you know, yes, you have to anticipate that there will be cheaters, but whatever, just enjoy your, your machine. That's basically what the purpose of this is. So now as far as like the popper setup right now, it's pretty easy. I'll do a quick tutorial, kind of quick and dirty. Um, you know, I've been doing popper before they introduced the baller installer. So. The way I'm going to do the tutorial, I don't know if it's going to match up exactly with how you have yours set up. Again, I had Popper in the beginning before Bowler Installer was a thing. I haven't looked at Bowler Installer because I I already have my setup. Um, I understand that Bowler Installer makes a a folder in your C drive called V Pinball. I don't, anyway, it's very simple. You could add it to Popper. It does get difficult when you add it to tables that have pup packs. If you know me, you've seen my videos in the past, I'm not a fan of the pup pack tables. Only like, you know, the ones that need it, such as like Iron Maiden and Garden of the Galaxies, they need that. But for example, like Sopranos, The Simpsons Pinball Party, I don't play those as pup packs. Um, you know, I play them as, I, in my machine it's called No Pup. Um, so I do have the pup pack table, but I have VP Alias that launches a No Pup version. So. Basically, when it comes to the popper side of things, I'm utilizing screen 10, which is game help. 
So I'm gonna take you down. I was gonna do, a, I'll do a screen grab. It's, I'll, I'll do a screen grab, here we go. All right, so I'm doing this in a way that basically I'm screen grabbing right now, so you should see the screen. I'm probably small on the screen. Um, again, for me, I've been using Popper before Baller and Solar was a thing, okay? So the way I have it set up, like for example, on the C drive, as you can see, you can see everything here. So I have a visual pinball folder. I do have the pinup system folder. Um, this is my backup uh, from my PC because this is a new PC. I literally had to start fresh on this because again, my old PC didn't have enough memory. I didn't want to do that whole clone the drive. I didn't do that. So let's start with the basics real quick, okay? I'm gonna go into pinup system. You should be able then to go into the menu setup. So pinup menu setup. Basically, we're gonna go to the displays. So popper setup, screens, and themes. Again, I am utilizing screen number 10. So right now you can see here, pinup menu. If I do configure displays, you're gonna see that topper, DMD, play field. The big one again is game help. That is screen 10. You could see it on the top right of the screen. You could just basically put it anywhere. That's what's kind of cool with this. It's very small. In my experience, putting it right where the plunger is, as you can see in the videos, it is not that eye-catching. I originally put it on the back glass. Then I moved it to where my full DMD is. And it's just, I, I, I kept looking there and I said, you know what, I don't want it. I basically put it right where the top right corner, that's right where the plunger is. The only real thing with this screen here is that you wanna keep it at 100 by 100. You could go 150, you could do 200, but that's gonna be bigger. The bigger it is, the more eye-catching it is. But for me, the QR code that I made, it's perfect with the 100 by 100. Once you basically kind of dragged it to where you wanted it, you press save settings and exit. That's really it. So now I'm not gonna show you where to get it. Again, you gotta go to my website, you go to the high score because I don't have it right now set. But basically you're gonna download it and then you're gonna extract it here. It's gonna make a folder and as you can see, you're gonna have all the QR codes there, okay? Now in my personal setup here, okay, with the pup videos, every time I launch a table, it creates a folder in pup videos. Again, I have this set before baller installer i'm assuming baller installer does the same thing i'm not too sure but the big deal with my pin is every vpx table i actually have this playlist screens and triggers i have an actual um template that's what i'm going to say right here what i have on my desktop here this is my template before i did this qr code thing i had this template really for my full dmd this way every single table it had a full DMD, as you can see on the screen. So, um, you know, I don't know if you already have that. It's, you should have a template, that's how I did it. Um, this way I have every single table that has a full DMD. I would kind of treat this in a way that you don't have anything. Um, so let's just do, I don't wanna do a no pop, this way you don't get like confused. Um, Juju, let's see, what do I wanna do? Which table do we wanna do real quick? All right, so for this example, we're gonna use Cactus Cannon, okay? Before we even get into the pub videos thing, on the downloads or anywhere, we're just gonna make a new folder and we're just gonna call it iScore. Doesn't matter really how you spell it, but you kinda wanna use it globally. As you can see on my desktop, I have this pre-made template. So as you can see, I do have a folder called iScore, okay? So you can put that on your desktop. I'm gonna just delete it from where I just made it. I'm gonna just utilize the actual one I have here on the desktop, okay? Again, I did my build before um, Baller and Solar. I'm pretty sure it's all the same folder structure. It might just be different, but we're gonna go into Pup Videos. And again, we're gonna use Cactus Canyon for our example here, okay? Keep in mind though, these folders are not called Cactus Canyon. It goes by the ROM name. So Cactus Canyon is CC underscore 13. I, in the past, previously before I recorded, I did have a template, I actually have it on my desktop. I'm just erasing and starting totally fresh for you to see, okay? We're gonna take that I scored folder that we made and we're gonna paste it into this folder, CC13. If you don't have CC underscore 13, it should have already been made once you launched the table. If you don't utilize pup packs, it's most likely bare as you can see now. We now have this folder called iScored. I put it in there, right? I'm gonna go to the downloads and I'm gonna look for Cactus Canyon. So I'm kind of doing this before. Again, as you can see, I have Cactus Canyon continued, not reloaded, continued, and I have regular Cactus Canyon. We are right now doing 
regular cactus cannon. I'm gonna copy that. I'm gonna go back to my cactus cannon, my iScored folder, and I'm gonna paste it in there. So now I have the QR code inside of the iScored folder. Now we have to make a pup pack. Basically, we're gonna go into pinup system. We're gonna to go to pinup pack editor. You're gonna to wanna to be sure to click on this list all ROMs and you're gonna go from the drop down menu, you're gonna to have to look for Cactus Canyon, which is again, CC underscore 13. Boom. If I click the load, hey, there's no pup pack. As you can see, we didn't have anything. I'm gonna click yes. It's gonna create the pup pack. Awesome. As you can see, we have 19 screens. That's a lot of screens, but all we need to focus on is this one right here, which is screen 10. This right now says off. We're gonna change this off to force on. I'm um, real quick, just gonna cheat because I already have this set up. Um, yes, I have it set to force on, okay? And underneath this, you have the background playlist. I'm gonna click that drop down menu. I'm gonna go to I scored. That's it. I'm gonna press save pup pack and I'm done. I'm now gonna take it a step further because again, my personal setup, I actually utilize full DMDs in all of mine. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna, I wanna put the full DMD. That's what I'm gonna do real quick right now. I'm going back to my pup videos. I'm gonna go to CC underscore one three. I'm gonna make a folder on my desktop called full DMD. I'm gonna bring that over there and I'm gonna find my full DMD. I already have it pre-done, so I'm just gonna kinda copy it. Let's just say you find your DMD. We're gonna go and we're gonna paste our DMD here, okay? Now, again, I'm basically making now another pup pack, so I'm gonna go back into the pinup pack editor. I'm gonna load Cactus Canyon, and for full DMD, in this situation, I believe anywhere, full DMD is actually screen number five. So that is music two. Again, I have to set that up to force back. I'm gonna click the drop down, and it's gonna be under my full DMD folder. I can now save the pup pack, okay? Now, if I go and launch Cactus Canyon, which I'm gonna do once I find it. Once I launch Cactus Canyon, doo -doo -doo -doo, you're not gonna see the full DMD because the screen record I'm only doing one screen. But basically once it launches, and I'm hoping it will, yep, I could already see it. You're gonna see the QR code. Right now the QR code disappeared. Um, if you give it a couple of seconds, it will reappear. Even if you press the start button, it will, there you go, boom, it reappeared. In like popper, when you're actually playing in popper, it, it's always there. It might take that little bit of a second, but as you can see, the QR code is there. And I do have my full DMD. You don't see it on the screen, but I have the full DMD. I'm gonna now take you another step further just to make your life easier now, okay? You're gonna now utilize the pup pack that we just made and make it like a template. So I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna take this Cactus Canyon 13, I'm gonna copy this, and then I'm gonna paste it to my desktop. And as you can see on my desktop here, I now have a template. What does that mean, Vic? I can now go to other tables. Again, it's the ROM name. And I could take this, I'm gonna basically just copy and paste this. Again, this is really good if you don't have any pup packs at all. Again, I have full DMDs for all my VPX tables. So for example, um, Simpsons Pinball Party, okay? That's not gonna be, it's not gonna be labeled Simpsons Pinball Party. I have Simpsons Pinball Party, which is a pup pack, as you can see. And I have a table which is known as No Pup. Again, if I had nothing in this folder, I can now take this template that we made. I actually, I'm gonna undo that because I don't have my full DMD video, as you can see. Uh, but basically, let's pretend this is empty. I could basically take this, copy, paste it, replace, okay? I am now gonna have my full DMD. I'm gonna take out Cactus Canyon. I now am gonna have the I scored. I already have Cactus Canyon, I'm gonna remove it. Let's just say I don't have Simpsons Pinball Party. I'm gonna to go to my downloads. I'm gonna to go to the QR codes. I'm gonna look for a Simpsons Pinball Party. And you could use this QR code for the Pup Pack one, but messing around with Pup Packs, it's tough, because now you have to go into the screens and I'm gonna show you what you could do on that. But basically Simpsons Pinball Party, cool. I'm back into my no Pup folder. I scored, boom, I'm set. So now if I launch the Simpsons Pinball Party, it's gonna work. So now we're gonna try one thing and I, I can't guarantee this thing to work. Um, I'm gonna do a table that I haven't even tested it with. I just can't guarantee this to work. We're gonna now do a table that normally has a pup pack, okay? 
in my situation, uh, I already started, I already moved my QR codes, but I have these tables here that I didn't do yet because most of these have pup packs. So for example, Deadpool, right? Let's try to do Deadpool. Let's see what we could do with Deadpool, okay? On my table, I believe the table name is, the ROM name is Deadpool, uh, no, JP. I believe it's JP's Deadpool. So I'm gonna just verify that real quick, yeah. So we have JP's Deadpool, right? I have not tested this. I'm doing this live with you in person. Let's go now. So we have Pup Pack Editor. I'm gonna go down now to J. Again, I, I don't know if this is gonna work, but this is where now it's gonna be difficult with Pup Packs, okay? And as you can see, I press load Pup. We have a couple of things here. From my knowledge, screen 10, that's screen help. It's not being utilized. So as you can see here, screen 10, it says off, there's nothing assigned to it. So I'm gonna put this as force on. I don't have a folder though named iSquared. So I'm gonna now have to actually relaunch this. I'm gonna cancel changes to this. I'm gonna have to relaunch it because the folder wasn't there, okay? I'm gonna delete my Cactus Canyon QR code. I'm gonna put my Deadpool in it. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I'm gonna reload now. My screen 10 again, force on. And now I'm going to see, because I did this after I put the folder in, I should see a folder called I squared. Boom. Let's save the pup. Awesome. I don't know if this is going to work, but let's see now. If I launch Deadpool, it may or may not work. Let's see it together. That's the big thing that's kind of difficult when it comes to tables that already have pup packs. So for example, Iron Maiden, I could see it there. You could see it there. Let's just see, is it gonna come back? You know, again, the QR codes, it might take a little bit of a second. I know I tried it on total, uh, boom, cool, awesome, it's there. You can see it. I don't think it's gonna work for all the tables though. I did honestly try to do this with total nuclear uh, TNA, total nuclear annihilation, and it didn't work. But as you can see, I just did the QR code with a table that normally has a pup pack. That is honestly it guys, that now you have it, you have the directions on how to incorporate it into Popper. Again, while you're still looking at it, I still, yeah, I have it up, okay. While you're looking at it, originally on my desktop, I only had this as a template. Basically this template already had everything set, which is really the screens. You can see my screens here. I basically just had screen five, which was forced back. That is the full DMD. I already had that before I did this whole conversion, before I did the QR codes. I basically had to make another template which is now on my desktop. I'm gonna delete the video here which is the Cactus Canyon. I'm gonna delete Cactus Canyon. This is it now. So any new table, I could simply copy this and paste over it. If you wanna see real quick, this is my playlist. Nothing really changes. You do see here I scored in full DMD. From my knowledge, nothing really happens with that. The triggers is Nothing was changed on that. The only thing that changes is the screens. Again, for full DMD, you do need screen five, which is music two, and I have that set to force back. This way the DMD is forward, so the pub screen is behind the DMD, that's why it's forced back. Then I have screen 10, which again is utilizing game help. I have that set to force on. This way it's always on and it's always above. That is it guys, there you guys have it, VigVP, Game Gaze Arcades, game on my guys. I hope you guys utilize the QR system. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.